What's going on, people? Today, we're back with another episode of the Make Money Making Videos podcast, full podcast link down below. Today, we're doing top six beginner tips for Adobe Premiere Pro users. Let's do it. Welcome back to the Make Money Making Videos podcast. This is question number one on my list of way too many questions. I love uh, it. Is there a way I can bring in video only from like an Explorer window? So. I'm usually dragging it in, dropping it, and then I have to go video only. Is there a way I can just drag it in from, you know, just from Microsoft right. with just the video? Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, if if oh. that <laughs> video file has been exported um, with only video, then it's possible. Like, for example, animations. You'll get a whole bunch of animations. If you download, like, overlay animations, yeah, you can yeah, get yeah. A, a whole bunch of free ones. A bunch of those won't have an audio layer because they're QuickTime files, for example, something that literally hasn't been exported with an actual... Um, uh, thingamajig, uh, audio layer, but for the most yeah. part, I don't think there's a way to just import it. However, all you got to do is import it and then you can just drag the video. You know how you get the video audio option in Premiere, then you can do it. But you yeah, gotta, yeah, simple enough. Yeah, exactly. So you do have to export it uh, or import it with the audio attached until you bring it into your composition. Cool. Next question. Uh, is there a hotkey for unlink slash link? Um... This is, where I, about? this is where I expose myself. I got no fucking clue. I got absolutely ah, I got no him. clue. All right. <laughs> All right, I have a question about Adobe Premiere Pro again. <laughs> Fuck yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, when I'm la- back, back to the topic. Uh, when layering <laughs> in a clip, uh, I'm always trying to match the beat. So like I'm trying to change on the beat because you said as humans, that's what we like. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> is there a way to easily cut clips in half besides just eyeballing it? Is there like a... Like I want half this. Um, like literally specifically exactly half the clip or um or what? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Not not super specifically, I guess, uh, unless you're okay. like judging by the frames at the top. But to to get it perfectly on the beat, you just want to put your beat there, fucking zoom the fuck all the way in, like the I'm max the zoom, fucking... and just yeah. get the little get the little uh, scissor tool, you know, and just slice right there on the beat, and uh, you know you like. Even with the markers, like, you know how you're doing yeah. the markers? You can play yeah, your yeah. song and just press, you know, M every M, time you kind of hear the beat. Um, yeah, yeah. And then actually automate your clips so they just That's automatically place to the beat. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, exactly. I, can, I can automate them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, you, you mean could, I can drag them in and they, like, automatically adjust it to them? Oh, no, no, no. You could do markers for all the pieces of the beat, select all your clips, uh, go up to edit, and then go sequence, and then press automate to sequence, and it will put the clips perfectly in there on beat, and basically edit your whole thing. You just gotta add the in and out points to the exact point that you want it to start at. Oh, that's the money shot, Jack. All right. It's that's some awesome. wild Thank shit. You. Yeah, no problem at all. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Uh, next question. Let's do it. If I only have an audio clip only, uh-huh. uh, how can I generate the corresponding video clip? Visualizer. The audio visualizer. Uh, 100%. That's what I had to do with my, um, uh, well, that's more of a way of creating a visual, something that you can actually look at. So if you got, oh, oh. yeah, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, I'm yeah. trying to describe. I'm right. talking about like, say, say I put in, uh, like this video uh-huh. and for some reason I cut off me talking right here yep. and it was just the audio going. Is there a way that I can regenerate that without dragging the video audio over or can I, um, just like click on the audio and like left click or right click and be like generate corresponding video or something like that. Um, so if you have the video file still, but you've just deleted the, the video layer or if there's literally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, there's no kind of way to do that, but you can literally just, oh, uh, should be. you can, you can just drag it back out, I guess. I, I guess that's okay. kind of the best way that I, that I guess you got to oh, do. Oh, I, I can, I can drag it out. Okay. Okay. I get yeah, it. I get yeah, yeah. it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, all right. Number 10. Let's do it. <laughs> I said, how do you stay in your home screen when it when I click graphics, it moves me to a new screen, graphic, drop effect. Uh, I think ignore that question. That's pretty bad. Um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. If you want to go back, you just click back to editing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty bad one. All right, uh, <laughs> it's all right. You probably wrote uh, that first. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was number 12. Man, I don't know. Holy shit, I don't know. <laughs> I've been a rough night. That's um, funny as fuck, man. Oh my god. Do you use a, a legacy title every single time that you need to put in text? No. Sometimes I use the text tool. Sometimes I use just presets. If if I can, like um, if I can not go outside of uh, 
Premier for 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 the presets, then I'm super fucking happy. Um, yeah. But like sometimes with my glitch titles and stuff like that, I gotta use this uh this kind of preset I like file. Glitch titles. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I like I I don't make them fresh every time. I will expose myself. You know what I mean? I, I've given away that pack by the way. It's an After Effects pack, and it's just uh, like a whole bunch of preset glitch titles. So I'd use those whenever I can. But if I don't have to go outside of of Premiere, I I like to use the presets that are available inside of Premiere. Where can I find those, Jack? You can find those on my YouTube channel. I'll make sure I send you a link right now. Hold tight. Cool. Thanks, man. Um, next question. Uh, I got a question. What I'm, this, I keep fucking myself with this. I'm like, I got a clip, and it's going, it's going. And then like, I want to stop it on that still frame, and I want to extend that still frame out longer. Yep. How do I do it? Simple. You chop. Make sure there's just one frame at the end. Just one frame. Uh, uh, how do, make, how do I make sure there's just one frame? Or separate it. So go to the final frame oh, and chop, chop it. Cut. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you've got one final frame. The frame is there. Then you want to right click it and you want to go to add frame hold segment or add. Yeah, I think it's add frame hold segment. Once you right click on it and it will add. Control shift K frame hold. Frame, uh, I think it's a different, it, it's not frame hold, I think it's frame okay. hold segment. So this frame okay, hold- Okay, that makes sense, because yeah. I've been doing frame hold and it hasn't been working. <laughs> frame hold's a weird one, bro. Frame hold kind of uh, sets a certain time parameters. If you go frame hold segment, I think that's what it's called. It just okay. gives you uh, just the exact frame that you can change the length of everything. You can drag it infinite to the right, oh. infinite to the left, and then you just have a oh. blank screenshot right there. Should I download After Effects? I don't even have After Effects. Is After that Effects I should be fucking with? is good to couple with um, with Premiere because you can just add extra cool things. Like if you got presets, like a whole bunch of cool preset files, like I got a shitload of those glitch presets, which um, uh, you know I'll actually try to find you and send you after this. Uh, you can, you know, complement your edits in Premiere by doing little kind of special things like that over in After Effects. Okay. Uh huh. So I, I think they all work together, bro. For real, they all work together. They all benefit each other.